and what his philosophy was. I remember once we were talking about, I think it was Rabbi Warren in the temple, somewhere or another where I don't know, I mentioned, well, I don't see you on the high holidays or anything, and he gave me a lecture about the Holocaust, that there was a God, <clears throat> excuse me. And boy, I tell you, I went home and I was really thinking, you know, thinking what the man said. You know, he wasn't a thousand percent wrong, but he just laid it out. If there was a God, why did all these Jews get slaughtered? Why did, how, how could and children he, go into ovens right, and could, and like, make you like... Religion was a, I thought he used the expression, was a racket. And boy, he really came down on it. Right. Yeah. Right. I used to refer to him as religiously atheistic. Yeah, because right. Because he wasn't just a mellow agnostic. He was oh, rabid yeah. in his, he, you know. get on the subject. The night I read him. Right. Right. F God. You know, we used yeah. to joke about, you know, yeah. getting him a t-shirt. Of course, we wouldn't have, but it would have said F God. Yeah, right. You know, because that's how he was just exactly. so irate. It actually caused a big um, sort of schism in a situation that... I learned about from doing this exhibit, he had um, three first cousins who survived the Holocaust. Um, and that was it, you know, the, everyone else in the, in the family was killed. Right. And they found him after the war. It was a long, sort of complicated story, but they found out where he was and contacted him. They had the exact opposite experience. They became more religious. They, he'd grown up in a very religious family, sure, sure. you know, and a sort of very elite religious family. And um, this cousin whom I spoke to, Sophie, told me she came to visit him expecting that, you know, she'd finally found her. He was the eldest cousin of all of them, it's, and, you know, a man, and he was so successful. Everyone looked up to him, and he always helped, financially helped all of the family members who ever needed it. And so she was just, you know, incredibly excited. And within, she said, 15 minutes, she wanted to leave. Because one of the first things that happened was something about, you know, she said something about, well, thank God you're alive. And he started up with the God, you know. And for her to hear these, you know, heinous things about God just unglued her. Sure, sure. And so they'd see each other, but very rarely, and it was, you know, very distant. Right. Um, 